my dears and welcome back to my channel and you guys ask me a lot of questions on social media about not just my own life experiences but about the industry and how I interact with other publishers with other authors and other artists because it's a jungle out here y'all a lot of times you guys will ask me questions that absolutely inspire videos and today was one of those days y'all so today's question was from one of my dear viewers broken red flag and they wrote major question how do you cope with people who also want to be mangaka and think that they're better than you as an accomplished publisher i'm sure you've encountered mangaka with big egos <laughs> Maybe it's me, but for some reason, the manga industry has some of the most obnoxious people I know. Oh my. <laughs> How did you make it without mentally competing with others? And what's your strategy? Have you ever been jealous or vice versa? Or someone of you? And how to cope with the mangaka drama girl. So, it's gonna be a fun-filled video, I'll tell you that much. So, I'm gonna answer this question piece by piece so that it's not just a big jumbled mess. So we have a lot to cover today. So grab a snack, grab a drink. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to make it fun for y'all. So let's do this. So the very first part of the question was, how do you cope with people who also want to be mangaka and think that they're better than you? Okay. Ah, first of all, I don't really care about what other people think. If they believe they're better than me, let them think that. I'm not that kind of person who looks at other people's work and think they're so not as good as me. Like that's absolutely not my attitude. My attitude is everyone has their own style, everyone learns at their own pace, and you know what? If they think that they're that good, kudos to them, maybe they won't experience as much heartache until they realize one day that they meet somebody who is better than them and they realize it and their ego shattered and that's a totally different situation. So the way that I feel is I absolutely hate pompous people. I feel like that's one of the worst things there is and I've met a lot of people like that but a lot of that attitude, that, that cockiness, that's all just a cover up and I've realized that over the years. Um, a lot of the most cocky people I've met were unfortunately some of the people that really needed to take other people's critiques and advice more to heart. Um, they were the kind of people that honestly really needed to practice more, but they were convinced that they were the best and they were comfortable, they didn't want to improve, they would put others down, tell others what they had to do, how they should improve, but God forbid you said anything to them because they will flip that out. And I met so many people like that. And it's kind of a shame because they're really passionate about their artwork, but their mentality, their cocky mentality, and their inability to take critique and advice is what prevented them from improving and being able to reach their goals of being published authors and working in the art industry. So if someone believes they're better than me, let them believe they're better than me. All I can do is try to give them advice if I really feel they need it, but I'm not going to push my advice on other people. And as long as they're not bashing me while saying they're better than me, I whatever, let them think what they want. As an accomplished publisher, I'm sure you've encountered mangaka people with big egos. Maybe it's just me, but for some reason, the manga industry has some of the most obnoxious people I know. How did you make it without mentally competing with others? So, this question I have a couple answers to. First, yes, I have met a little too many people with huge egos. There are people on social media like YouTube and Instagram who really believe they're the best and they will tell you so. And it's freaking weird. It is bizarre. <laughs> You know, but some people just have big egos. And again, when you see somebody who's cocky with a big ego, it's because they are self-conscious and they want you to believe they're bigger than they actually are. I've had some of these really cocky people actually contact me for advice um, about publishing and telling me, wow, I wish I could reach that level to have my work in Barnes and Nobles. And then I'm thinking to myself, but on social media, you know, we're talking about how you're everybody's favorite author oh okay but you know again it's just a cover-up so you know you can't really take it seriously um but there are some people who have had some big freaking egos 
and I've had to defend myself or my friends from these people. The next part of their question reads, how did you make it without mentally competing with others? What's your strategy? Have you ever been jealous or vice versa someone of you? How do you cope with the mangaka drama? And I can honestly say I have never been jealous of another artist. There's no reason. I am my own individual. They are themselves. I can admire people. I can look at their work and really love it. But am I going to be jealous of it? No. The chances are that person, if I really love their artwork, they worked really hard to get to that point. You know what I mean? Or they're older than me and they have more experience so they practice more. You know what I mean? So there's really no reason to be jealous of someone else. And even if they're my same age, I should just have admiration for their style. There's really no reason to feel bad about yourself like I remember there was this girl that I knew from school she was very very talented she had a very rugged style and I thought it was so freaking cool it was like semi-realistic kind of like Marvel comics but it had her own twist to it and I loved watching her draw and one day she told me I really admire your artwork and I was like really what and she told me because your characters are alive you can draw backgrounds when I see your character, they look like they're actually living. They have a personality. I don't know how to write stories. And I don't know how to draw my characters in a way that they feel like real people. And I was so shocked. Sometimes you can really admire somebody and without you realizing it, you might be able to do things that they don't know how to do. So I often tell people that sometimes you, you can really be jealous of somebody and in reality there's something about your work that they wish they had so the way that I see it is there's no point in being jealous of somebody because everyone has their own strengths you're your own individual nobody knows your journey but you you're working hard if you're doing your best you're drawing every day you're practicing you're not avoiding drawing things that you find difficult because you want to challenge and you want to improve then you know what you're on the right track boo boo you do you and everything will fall into place I say that all the time but I really do mean it just do your best my mother taught me at a very young age that nobody should be my competition I'm my own competition I should be trying to be better than I was last week last month last year that's the only competition that you really have in this life is you so if you get too caught up in trying to compare yourself to other people you're gonna miss out on a lot of fun because you'll never be like that other person it's impossible. You can never be that other person and they can never be you. So don't even try. Just be yourself. This world is so big. There's so many styles out there. There's no reason to be competitive. So the bottom line is, just like I said before, when people are too cocky, it's usually because they're insecure. And if you're jealous, that's also a sign of insecurity. Um, if you are confident in yourself and you are confident that you are doing your best as a person and as an artist, you have no reason to be jealous so that's really that's really it for me how do I cope with the mangaka drama I cope with drama by not even being involved in the drama girl like honestly I, I have no place for drama in my life to be completely honest like I want to live a peaceful life I just want to create art make people happy and make myself happy in the process so honestly what it all boils down to is mind your own damn business, don't get involved in drama, don't be a cocky son of a and just be good to people and be good to yourself. Like, drama's gonna happen, haters are gonna exist, but you just gotta keep on rolling. Just know that once you put your work out there, th there are gonna be some mean people, there is gonna be some drama, but um, don't get involved in it and you won't, you won't have any trouble. Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up, please subscribe for more videos like this and until next time guys, please take care, God bless and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys!